everyone, last year I made a video showing everyone how to use Instagram on their mobile phone, but there was a little bit of confusion. Some people were trying to use Instagram on their computer at Instagram.com. There is a website, Instagram.com, where you could use Instagram, but it is completely different than the Instagram mobile app. So I wanted to make a quick video just to show you Instagram.com and what you could do on your computer with it. Now, Instagram, it is not intended to be used on the computer. Okay, so you can't even post from Instagram.com and it's very limited in the features that it has. But I'll show you what's there, what's available, and then you could decide if it's a good use. But I definitely recommend, if you're new to Instagram, watch the Instagram for the mobile phone. It's available for iPhones and Android. And even on the iPad and tablets, it's the same mobile app, it's just a little bit bigger, but it's the same exact thing. So let me show you here on Instagram.com. So simply go to Instagram.com and then log in with your username and password for Instagram. The same one if you have the mobile app or if you don't have Instagram at all, you could sign up here. Again, I recommend just clicking Apple Store or Google Play Store here and then downloading the app here to get started. But I already signed in, let me show you. This is what happens when you sign into Instagram.com from a computer, okay? So let me show you what you're looking at and then I'll show you what else is possible. Right on top over here, this section is your Instagram stories. Now, Instagram stories are the quick vertical videos that you could post on Instagram and view, but here you could only view them. Let me just click on one to show you what you see. When you click on an Instagram story, it shows up this way here, and you could see it's moving through, and every time there's a break, that means a new story is going to show up. So you could press these arrows to see the next one and the next one. These are Instagram stories. Now you can't post Instagram stories from a computer. You could only view them. Then underneath that, you have the regular, what's called the Instagram feed. This is when you scroll and see different posts from different people on Instagram, different pages on Instagram. So this works like the phone. So you could see any page here. You could click on any page and jump into what's called a profile. This is a regular Instagram profile. This is the shop page from Instagram. And I'm following this page. You could see how many posts they have, how many followers, and how many people they're following, and a little description about them, and all their posts are over here. Okay, so I'll talk about more about an individual feed when we look at our own. Let me click the Instagram logo to go back to the home page. So again, Instagram story on top, Instagram feed if you scroll over this way. Again, Instagram stories could be scrolled over side to side. You have a search option where you could search other pages or keywords and things like that on Instagram. This works like the mobile app. Then over here, you could see my account here and I could press switch if I have multiple accounts. I'm only logged into one right now. Then you have this little section up here, which is useful. I'm on the home page, which is what you see here. But if I go over, there's this messenger icon. If I click this, this takes me inside of Instagram Messenger where I could send messages to people, read my existing messages and reply. Okay, so this is messages, this is the tab for it. Again, all these individual things I have complete videos on if you wanna learn more. This icon is called the explore page. So things that Instagram thinks you should want to look at based on your profile's activity are gonna show up here and you could scroll through that here, okay? Then the heart shows you all your activity on Instagram. So when people liked your posts, for example, they'll show up over here. This is your recent activities, basically. And then your profile icon is here. Click this and then you could do any of these things, including viewing settings and changing things. But I'm gonna show you the profile option. So this is my profile and pretty much every profile you jump into on the computer looks like this. Again, shows you the number of posts, followers, and how many people you're following. You could edit your profile here to change things like your username, your description, and things like that. You could change this link if you wanted to, to be something else. And then this basically, the main section shows you all the different posts. Now IGTV, you could actually upload to IGTV from a computer, but you can upload to any other page on Instagram from here. So you can do posts, you can do Instagram stories, what you can do is upload to IGTV for some reason. And if you really want to use Instagram on a computer, I recommend watching my video on Instagram Creator Studio because Instagram Studio actually lets you post from a computer. Let me go back to the homepage just to show you how to interact with posts here. So 
on any given post, here's a post, I could still like a post, I could still leave a comment on a post if I click this here, I could go ahead and add my own comment over here on it. And I could press this option to share a post or bookmark or save a post here too. So all these options are available on the computer, they're also available on the mobile 